Hi, it's Matt Heaton, and welcome to Absolute Beginner Bazooki Part 1.5. Now, if you haven't yet seen Part 1, I would recommend checking that one out first. Uh, there should be a, a link down in the, in the description. Um, but what happened is, after I made that video, I was considering what I said about playing jigs, and I realized that there's more to it. There's more that I wanted to say about this. So I thought um, I would just make a, a, a separate thing, just talking about jigs a little bit. So jigs, um, jigs are in 6-8, which means there are two groups of three. Duppity, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so for the strumming, the... If you do just straight alternating, you don't really get an, uh, that 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 sense. You don't really get that um, accent pattern. So the the nice way to strum is down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Up. <clears throat> so that's thing number one. Is practice this a lot if you can't do this because it, you know, when you start getting it up to speed, it's a little bit. It can be a little bit tricky. Now, I advise against doing like big strums all the time because it can be a little bit overwhelming and overwhelming to the melody that is and so what I a couple a couple approaches for this I'm just gonna play this on a, on a D chord for a minute okay just the open D chord uh, one thing is to kind of kind of very lightly spell out that rhythm on the upper strings so you can hear that I'm kind of just brushing you know not digging in at all and then when I want maybe a chord change It's only I kind of reach back and put a little more, uh, uh, play more into the into the string to get that that accented note. Here I'm just on the top string, and then I reach back. All right, so that's that's a way to keep the the jig rhythm going um, without it turning getting too loud. Another thing that I do. <clears throat> is a variation of that where I play um, the, the 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 pattern ends up being down 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 up down so it's like it's there's it's down up down down up down down up down but you're omitting that first upstroke down 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 up down 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 up down up da 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 so you're just you're just you know skipping that skipping that note and what that sounds like is this <laughs> The upstroke, you're grabbing that high D string. I sort of view that as being more akin to the 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 real thing where you're going down at like like you know this. skipping around strings um, so and then if you're playing a very slow jig uh, then you've got a lot more, um, there are more possibilities because you, it it's, becomes less important to spell out that, that, that rhythm. Like if I'm going, you know, dum -di, um, like that kind of a tempo, you can go... like 
this down, up, up, down, up, up. And that, so, but the, for, for, you know, more session speed, I think the down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down is the way to go, whether or not you're hitting all the notes in that pattern, your hand is still doing that pattern. Um, so, find myself doing that an awful lot, as well as... Right, so I hope that clarifies things a little bit. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please uh, ask me in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll help if I can. And uh, enjoy, enjoy your bazookis. Take care.